Finally tonight here, remembering a director, a trailblazer who began a conversation at just 23. John Singleton was a trailblazer. The writer and director was just 23 when he prompted a national conversation about race with his debut film, Boys in the Hood. Cuba Gooding Jr. Y'all are brothers. You're supposed to be fighting each other. Regina King and Ice Cube. Either they don't know, don't show. I don't care about what's going on in the hood. And then y'all look over there. At the time, he was person of the week on World News Tonight. We came in, you know, with a black crew, a black cast, and in a black neighborhood, and we was like a homecoming. Singleton would become the first African American nominated for an Oscar for Best Director, and the youngest. What's your name? Lucky. He would go on to direct Poetic Justice and work in movies and TV for years. He would take note of the work still to be done, but also of the progress made. American film is, is becoming more and more um, 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 popular because it's become more American. You know, it's become more multi-ethnic, and that's what I really love. He died after being taken off life support after suffering a major stroke, his family revealing he quietly struggled with hypertension, thanking his doctors. Tonight, the next generation remembering Singleton, Jordan Peele, who directed Get Out and Us, saying John was a brave artist and a true inspiration. His vision changed everything. And from the beginning, John Singleton's standards. I have to do something that I can look at 10 years later and say, yes, I did that and I'm proud of it. John Singleton, in his own words. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night.